Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Nono Films. Today I'm going to be continuing my iMovie for iPhone tutorials, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys some of the basics of editing within iMovie, and when you have your own created project already, and you just don't know how to add the transitions, titles, or effects, or any kind of speed up, or zoom in, cropping, all of that, I'm going to show you guys a brief overview of all that right now. So let's go ahead, and uh, we do have... Uh, up here we're in our projects keep in mind uh, right now uh, you can be you can start in your video tab if you're trying to first create a project which I have a tutorial in my playlist so be sure to check that out but uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna for now I'm gonna go ahead and open up a project here and we're actually going to delete this puppy project um, uh, don't worry the puppies are going to return we're gonna go back into our my movie project here and uh, I 3D force touch onto it and I can swipe up and I can see some of the basics regarding the project there but you can also just tap it and it'll open up the project just like this from here you can uh, press play to preview it uh, you can also share it here as well at the very bottom you can uh, hit that little share button and uh, also you can delete it just like I deleted the previous project uh, so but we want to edit this project so we're going to click that little edit circle right there in the center of our project and uh, and in my previous tutorial I showed you guys how to import this uh, image here and then added this transition along with a clip here that we recorded and we provided a voiceover as well for this video footage here as well and uh, keep in mind I am swiping from left to right on my actual timeline down here this is my timeline and I can you can interact with everything on your timeline you can if you click on them it will give you different options for each individual element on your actual um, screen here just like just like this and uh, let's actually go ahead and start like for example this is an image and if I simply click on an image uh, we're automatically put into this little scissor icon here at the bottom left hand corner we don't have any speed up options or audio options because it's an image but we do have a text options which we can go ahead and put down uh, titles and text here as well by swapping left and right we can choose between a centered or lower we can also um, toggle audio on and off in that particular position but uh, to move, remove the text as well if you don't need it you can hit none and I don't want a text on title and text on my actual uh, image here I do want one on my video so as you notice if I click on my video uh, at the very top right now um, you'll keep uh, there's a little plus button at the top and uh, pinch to zoom video now this is how you're going to do most of your zooming in and out and adjusting so uh, I, I want with, with that plus sign selected and my clip selected um, I can now pinch or pinch to zoom out as well but I'm going to zoom in right on the blinds here we're going to get right up and close and personal here and uh, also so with it selected we're still within our titles and text tab here and we're actually going to go ahead and choose this prism text and then uh, when you tap the text at the top it will give you the option now to edit the text and change it to what you want. I'm going to go select it all and I change it uh, to welcome. Welcome to Normal Films and the text adjusts size automatically and uh, there we have it. We have a Normal Films in the center. Now I'm not satisfied with the color of that actual footage so we're going to go ahead and uh, with that clip still selected at the very bottom right hand corner we have this little three colored uh, palette here uh, which is going to be our uh, effects and uh, we can go ahead and add a, a filter or an effect on our actual footage here and that yellow is too much got the blockbuster blue I do like the blue right there black and white none uh, we're, go we're gonna do the uh, blast which kind of looks like it's focused right on the text so with that there uh, we're gonna go ahead click on back on our image and uh, we have this transition here which which is a transition looks like it's a f just a simple dissolve transition it just dissolves into this I don't know if I like that and uh, if I swipe left to right on my right next to my uh, transition right over my transition you can you can actually see what the transition is but let's go ahead and do the slide transition and you'll notice it's gonna go slide right into my text my prism text that fades in like so and then it fades out as well now uh, we want more footage here so we're gonna go ahead and hit that plus button and we're gonna go to videos up here and we we'll go to unused media and in this case I'm gonna use my here this footage here that I have and it's of me uh, testing out the oculus rift for the first time I'm gonna hit that plus button it's gonna drop it straight into my timeline that is a minute and 41 second footage here so what we're gonna do it did add us an automatic uh, automatic transition if you guys keep in mind here as well um, 
if you click on the transition and you go to the very bottom right hand corner and you click that little gear icon uh, you'll be able to notice that uh, your transition has a uh, or your project it's more 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 applied more to your project you can choose a specific theme to that project as well you can choose a filter for that project and also you can change uh, the fade in from black fade out of black uh, speech changes pitch and theme music as well through here uh, highly recommend you adjust these accordingly according to what kind of pat project you're trying to focus on uh, so with this transition I'm gonna go actually and uh, do a wipe transition and if I tap that wipe if you notice right there on the transition that wipe has four dots in it and if, if you tap that wipe it will give you different transitions uh, as you notice here it just changes it shows you which way it will swipe it so our first one is swiping from left to right just like that this one is gonna like as if it's lifting up the curtains straight up just like that and it's gonna reveal my you know me trying out the oculus rift right there um, <laughs> so now that we have the oculus rift and like i said we do want i said i was going to show you guys how to return the puppies <laughs> well i told you guys the puppies were going to return so we're going to do a picture in picture now but we're going to put the puppies on top of my uh, Oculus Rift here footage and uh, let's go back and we're actually going to have this clip selected. Um, I, you, I don't think you have to have it selected so I, we'll do it either way. Hit that plus button again and this time we're, yeah, we're going to go to unused media again and we're going to click on those puppies and instead of hitting that plus button we're going to go to the three dots just the far right there. It's going to open up additional options. Now we can just import the audio of the puppies uh, in the background but we don't want that so we're going to go one more over it's going to be it's like an overlay then the picture in picture right there and then the final one is the side by side I'm going to click this one right here for the picture in picture and you'll notice the puppy video is now on top of my actual uh, oculus rift uh, testing so now i was actually trying to move this uh, puppy footage that i had up here right to the beginning here of my project of my timeline of this uh, oculus footage but apparently i can't so i'm going to go ahead and delete it and i'm actually going to move this right after tr transition moves up we'll have the puppy come in as soon as the transition finishes. So when I hit, hit that plus button, go on that puppy video, three buttons, the the <laughs> picture in picture, we'll notice that it actually puts it right there, right in the beginning of where I have my timeline uh, marker right there as well. So now it's, that it's at the beginning, we can select our picture in picture, and if we actually, let's go back over it, and uh, what I wanted to do now is actually I wanted to move it so if you have it selected the top right hand corner you notice you got the plus you can adjust it uh, pinch to zoom you can zoom in so I'm gonna actually zoom in here take out those black borders and then also I'm gonna use that drag to position and I'm gonna position this somewhere like right there in the center <laughs> so you can see me and the TV and now we got some transitions we got some adjusted views and me out there trying out the Oculus Rift with the uh, picture in picture of some puppy videos and also the uh, Oculus Rift. Um, but this is some of the basic editing options you guys hear. You can do so much more. Um, I'll have more future tutorials coming out as well. This is not the only one. I just wanted to show you guys out there. But also keep in mind you have the question mark at the top right hand corner which also gives you very basic information of where things are at and uh, how to use those as well. But go ahead and uh, when you go ahead after you're done editing if you click at the done button at top left hand corner it'll take you straight to this window where you can now export your project by hitting that little um, the square with the arrow out of it basically export and from here you have several different options depending on what app you have most apps you can export to you can even airdrop it to a friend or iCloud you name it you got all the options thank you guys for watching catch you guys in the next video and later. So Hello ladies and gents and thank you for joining me here after the credits. I do have a unique opportunity here. If you get this app uh, called App Nana. Now this is what the app looks like but I'm gonna go to my invite. If you use my referral code right there at the top M2326194 you'll get an instant 2500 nanas straight to your account. There are also a variety of rewards you can get. Uh, now you may also find this application in the app store. If you go to search bar you can search app nana, app nana, just like that and you'll see it's right there it's app joy. You can also search it by app joy.
and uh, you can go ahead and download that right now. But go ahead and use that invitation code. Thank you, and later.